Welcome back to Eugene, Oregon. We've talked about Dennis Dixon. We've heard from Matt Ryan, but don't forget, there's another quarterback of an undefeated team that believes he should be in New York, and a lot of people think so too. Cole Brennan at Hawaii, despite being hurt by an ankle injury, still has 26 touchdown passes, tied for third in the nation. Total offense, he's second nationally, and they're not just little dink and dunk passes. They got 23 passes of 25 or more yards and some very good receivers. Ryan Grice Mullins and others to work with down there at Hawaii. Brennan has more attempts, completions, yards, touchdowns, and a higher efficiency than any active quarterback in Division I. Not even close in any of those categories. Career touchdowns, 119, too short of Ty Detmer's mark. His season is all about another number, though, 12-0. and 0, And Hawaii is only two-thirds of the way to that perfect season, despite a couple of escapes in overtime. But the next four games are going to tell the tale of Hawaii's season. In the meantime, Brennan's enjoying a little Saturday off on the North Shore of Hawaii who here during some downtime this California kid former high school teammate of Matt Leinart has certainly learned to embrace the island's lifestyle. Hawaii's so unique I mean compared to all the other states out there and I got a chance to come here and play football and you know what it's all about is the beaches and the ocean and nature and outdoors and I think if you're gonna live here you might as well take advantage. I'm kind of excited. This is kind of like the uh, most serious I've got to spearfish. You got your two types of spears, your three prong, which uh, is just a hand spear, like this. And uh, just in case Jaws shows up, we got this big bad boy. For me, it's a you know, it is a great experience. It's just something different and fun. I'm sure I'll get scared out here. I always look behind my back, my shoulder, but that's kind of what makes it fun, too. I've always been a big fisherman hunter my whole life, and it's just a different kind of uh, hunting. It's kind of more hands-on and not as easy, definitely. And so, uh, for me, it's a challenge. That's something that's a, a real delicacy out here in Hawaii. They love that. That's my first one, so I'm pretty excited about it, even though I kind of shared in the kill. <laughs> this is a great day. I mean... You know, I'm only responsible for like a fish, but the other guys that we were with had an awesome day. Uh, Hawaiian style, I guess, would just be cook it, eat as you go, uh, no utensils, just uh, enjoy eating the food all day. We really don't stop cooking, we just keep cooking all day. It's kind of like calamari without the fried stuff. It's real chewy though. There's a lot of me that is excited to go home, but when I think about Hawaii, I'm gonna think about some of the best years of my life. Hawaii's given me such a great experience in these past couple years that the best thing I can do is to keep that near me as, as long as I live. That is something you cannot do in a down week in Columbus <laughs> or Norman or Eugene. Colt is pretty quick to say that his completion percentage with that spear gun, not near the 70% that he gets in the football field. What's that? Wait, what is that? The alarm's going on. It, it's 525 in Hawaiian time, even earlier than it is here. It's time for the wake-up call on the north shore of Oahu. It's his off week, and he's gone from Honolulu up there to one of the famous surf spots in the world. And Colt Brennan joining us now on the phone. Uh, thanks for answering the early wake-up call, Colt. Uh, you got a lot of fun ways to spend your downtime in Hawaii, don't you? What, what, do, you, what do you got in the menu today? Um, uh, well, one of our bye weeks, we'll probably hit the beach and relax and uh, enjoy one of our only Saturdays off this whole year. Uh, life is good. Do you know the school that has the uh, the longest winning streak in 1A? I know it's early in the morning, but I'm going to give you a little pop quiz at the top of the morning. No, <laughs> off the head, I don't know it's right you now. Guys. It's you guys, my friend. You've won nine in a row. Now, hey, now let me awesome. ask in your opinion, Colt, who's a better judge of a football team? Humans who have the judgment but maybe have a bias, or the computers who are cold and objective but, but have no bias? Who's a better judge of football teams? Um, I'd have to go with humans. I think that they make the best uh, judgment calls, and uh, they can obviously, you know, decipher on, you know, what's a better football team. The numbers don't always do it. Yeah, the computers give you guys no love. The pollsters have you 10 and 11. I'm one of the guys that, uh, in the AP poll, which has got nothing to do with the BCS. I've got you down there at 18. Am I off base? Or are you a lot better than, than some of those teams that I've got ranked ahead of you if you, if you get the chance to prove it? 
Um, you know what? I, I definitely think potentially we, we can be a lot better football team than we're ranked right now. Uh, we got a great opportunity these last four games. We play four really quality opponents, and uh, obviously on ESPN for everybody to watch. So I think if we win these next four games, um, we could definitely make a statement and really show how good of a football team we really have. Well, I'll turn the alarm on myself. It'll be a wake-up call for me. I'll, I'll be looking at those TV games. We thank you for the plug. Now, if you have good games, do you think you belong in New York City as perhaps the Heisman Trophy winner, the most outstanding player, or certainly as one of the finalists? You know, be objective. I know you're a team guy, but do you think you belong with Dixon and Ryan and anybody else? Um, you know, that, that's really for, you know, everybody else for to decide, but, you know, all I can do is, is control the win-loss column. If, if, if I go 12-0 and this year, you know, I think that all I've done, you know, as, as much as I could to get an opportunity to go to New York. Obviously, there's a lot of talent out there right now in college football, so just being invited would be a great honor, and, uh, you know, that's really my main goal. And, um, you know, we'll just have to wait and see. I really think that the Heisman uh, goes to, you know, the, the best football player on the best team in college football, and, you know, my team has the best opportunity of getting me to New York, so we just got to keep winning, and I just got to, you know, keep believing in my team. Well, Colt, thank you very much for the early wake-up, nice Hawaiian shirt that we're showing you. Enjoy your day at the beach, my friend. That's good yeah, life. Life is good, good in Hawaii. Life is good. Life is good. Yeah, congratulations in advance on the record. He's, he's going to get that touchdown pass record yeah. in the next game against Fresno State at Nevada, Boise State, and, and Washington at the end of the year. So are you going to wake-up call? I mean, not me. Not you. You're, hey, you're already awake. Wait, 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 wait a minute, sweetheart. He had his in yeah, August. Thank you. Yeah, you I'm here for you, buddy. You know song? Yeah. It's my yeah, story, and I'm sticking to it. I forgot it. Yeah. It's, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. I've well, heard it. <laughs> I've said it before, and I'm going to say it again. They'll win 12 games. They'll go to the BCS. They'll go to the Sugar Bowl, and Colt Brennan will be invited to the Heisman. Why? Because the guy's got Heisman numbers, 26 touchdown passes. His team average is over 50 yards. What do you want for the guy? Just because he plays off the mainland doesn't mean he shouldn't be invited to New York. Oh. The guy deserves to be invited, and if they win them all, perfect story. Story for Cinderella going to the ball and picking up the Heisman Trophy. Well, you know what? One thing's for certain, Lee, with the year that we're having right now, if he wins out, his team will be in the BCS and they will be in the Sugar Bowl and he will make it to New York City. There's no question in my mind. And, and when you're playing at Hawaii, being invited to New York City as a finalist is like winning the Heisman Trophy as far as I'm concerned. The reality of whether or not they deserve to get to the BCS, are they this year's Boise State as a team, putting Colt Brennan's ability and his, his year to the side. This is a team that was down 14 points and had to fight back against San Jose State to get it to overtime. This a team that was a field goal, had to get a field goal against Louisiana Tech. The, and they struggled against Utah State. And these, this team deserves to go to the BCS? I, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Wake up. What? You, <laughs> you haven't been 18. You're, <laughs> seeing, you're seeing what I'm seeing. I am seeing what you're San seeing. San Jose State, Utah State, Louisiana Tech? I believe but the style points on, are man. important. I'm with you. Thank but you. there's a chance down the stretch they could go way up in my rankings. All right. Hey, thank All right. you very much. If they, win their, if they beat Nevada on the road, you know, that's... that's and they could get some computer points. They're right where Boise State was last year at this point, 14th. Yep. And though you think the they're success gonna, of Boise State beating your mighty yeah, Sooners that, that and Utah over Pittsburgh... That's why the poll has... They're going to keep moving up the poll. If they went out, they're in. And if they want to challenge... They want to prove they belong yep. sugar bowl superdome oh maybe lsu that would be a challenge for hawaii well, remember to the number one, a challenge for the patriots the, yeah, you're right. <laughs> remember you, the number one team in the nation beat youngstown akron and kent right <laughs> Right. Enough said. But did, okay. they, did they give up 37, I, 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 44, point is, 35? Ohio State hasn't beaten a hell of a lot of good football Yeah, but did their defense either. give up 35, 37, and 44? Well, that makes a big difference. Right. Time's up in the segment. Read the bump. You're, you oh, got okay, to get the big card.